Cities across America are now seeing a growing homeless problem. From military veterans to children, more and more people are on the streets. Meantime, the U.S. is letting unaccompanied migrant children cross the border and live temporarily at Texas military bases. And now the Biden administration has reportedly awarded an $86 million contract for hotel rooms to house migrant family members. Joining me now, former HUD secretary and American Cornerstone Institute founder, Dr. Ben Carson. Dr. Carson, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Rachel. It's nice to be with you. Thank you. Well, you know, we know that there's a homeless problem. I'm here in New York. We see it everywhere. Uh, if there's a, an ability by the U.S. government to open up our bases or pay for hotel rooms, shouldn't they have first been offered to American homeless families or, in particular, American veterans who are homeless? Well, one would certainly think that. You would think that our priorities would be in that direction. But for some strange reason, you know, we seem to be broken down into... Uh, this camp of virtue signalers who say, you know, we're the most compassionate people and we solve everybody's issues. Uh, and, and that's not true. You know, the money that's, that we use on people who are coming here illegally is very, very substantial amount of money and it has a domino effect. If you took that same money and you worked to improve the situation where they came from, I think uh, it wouldn't cost us any more money and it would be a better situation for them. In the meantime, we have a ton, we have tens of thousands of people in this country who are homeless and who need our help. And the fact of the matter is, you know, we, we have the Housing First advocates, just put them in a shelter. I think it has to be Housing First, Second, and Third. Put shelter over their head and then Housing Second is you diagnose the reason that they're there in the first place. And then housing third, you fix it. You know, you have all these people with drug addictions. We need to work on that. We can't continue to let that grow. It will have yeah. a very devastating effect on our society. Absolutely. And the mentally ill people, many of them are quite functional if they had the appropriate attention and care, medications and counseling. Right. So that's real compassion, getting people out of those situations, not just patting them on the head and saying, there, there, you poor right. little thing, and I'm so wonderful. And, you know, it's, it really is kind of sickening to watch it going on. And I think right. a lot of Americans actually realize what's going on, but, yeah. you know, they don't speak up. Don't. Uh, we're going to have to start speaking up. We're going to have to start yeah. really talking about what makes sense. Uh, going to meetings, talking to legislators, yeah. uh, making your voice known, because America is up for and by the people. Yeah. 